All right, we catching God today, boys. Oh, why can't I hear myself? Okay, I fixed it. Okay. Look at these numbers. Okay, welcome back to another Pokemon Legends Arceus stream. Probably the last one. Uh, like I said in the last one, uh, between this stream and last stream, uh, I caught Kranidos. Uh, apparently, I did find out. I'll, I'll go ahead and say this for anyone else trying to finish the Pokedex. Uh, apparently, the time rifts, like, they have a chance of happening every five minutes, but they're guaranteed to happen at least once every 40 minutes. I got really unlucky. It took me 40 minutes for the rift to even appear. So, uh, I actually took uh, some pictures here. <laughs> If you're worried about missing out on stuff because I wasn't streaming, uh, th this is this basically sums up the experience. Uh, just kind of kind of waiting around. So it is definitely for the best that I didn't do that uh, on stream. But we caught Cranidos. Let's pull them out really quick. Apparently they evolve at level 30. Oh, the trouble I went to. <laughs> well, the waiting. But yeah, apparently they evolve at level 30. So, oh, actually. Got some stuff from the lost and found. I'll grab that really quick. Yeah, they can evolve right away. Which is the last uh, non-legendary Pokemon for the entire game. Do it. And just like that... That's 240 out of 242. And the, the last two, of course, are Giratina and Arceus himself. So that is what we'll be doing today. Also, really quick, I want to change it so it manually saves, because I don't want it to like auto-save at a really inopportune time. Yeah, turn, turn that right off. Okay, so with that done... That means the last thing we have to do is get Giratina. So. Time to get the heck out of these mountains for right now. Return to the village. Just gonna check really quick to see if we get the uh nope. 
going to check the farm really quick because we're going to need as much healing items as possible, I think. Definitely don't expect Giratina to go down without a challenge. That's not ready yet, though. And then make sure our team's ready for this. I kind of want to keep Cleavor for False Swipe for Giratina. We're going to switch it out for uh, something else, I think, whenever it comes to Arceus himself. Landris. Yeah, I think we'll keep our normal team just for the time being for, for Giratina. It's just a cool lava in there. We did get all of our uh, satchels back from all the times we died last stream, so that's nice. I think we're ready to go. To the coastlands. Giratina is now the only one standing between us and Arceus. Tina's waiting for us in, in this cave up here. I don't know if it's going to be like a normal legendary fight at this point, since we already did the, you know, big fight with, uh, I don't remember what his name is. The guy with the yellow hair looking like a Dragon Ball Z character. And he's just like, oh, this isn't even Giratina's final form. And then we beat Giratina's final form. Allegedly, they're in turn back cave. I think their typing is such that we should be able to use uh, Thunder Wave. Got a good amount of stunning items too available. So. I believe it's here. Oh boy, moment of truth. We got ourselves a cutscene. There he is. Arceus's least favorite son. Don't don't see me. Whoosh. Oh, let me guess. Cutscene when I walk towards him.
He's just floating there menacingly. I was waiting to get us with the element of surprise. Level 70. Earth power. Uh, quick. We may only get one chance at Thunder Wave. Yeah, but we managed to get the Thunder Wave going, so there's that at least. Oh, I really like the thought of using Typhlosion here. Yeah, I don't want to use that though, because that could lead to a burn. We're on the same level. And this is super effective. I'm going to do Agile Style just in case. I don't know what Giratina's stats are like. Oh, that's perfect, actually. I'm so glad I didn't do, like, a normal move there. Are we going to get this first try? Holy cow, I can't believe it. We just, we just got that first try. Found something shiny where Giratina was. <laughs> yeah, easy, easy clap. Grissius core. Oh, allows Giratina to change form so it can make them origin form. That's insane. You know what that means? Only only one Pokemon remaining. I actually can't believe that I just caught that first try. I'm going to grab a couple of these satchels while we're still here. Someone out there is going to appreciate that. Yeah, sometimes. That seems to be my luck. I'm either like extremely lucky or extremely unlucky, no in between. That's cool. I wonder how likely like it like a shiny Giratina is. Maybe this will give us some good luck. If we uh get these satchels so someone else out there, you know gets their stuff back. I'm very grateful for the people who are out there that uh, found all of ours, because so far, every time I've died in the game so far, someone's gotten my stuff back. I guess merit points really are that valuable that people are going to go out of their way to do it. I wonder how much of a challenge Arceus is going to be. Fly right on. Ah. I don't know what type he is. I mean, I, I guess his type is completely dependent on like which plates you give him. So 
So I guess is he just like normal type until uh, otherwise? They're probably going to do something special for the fight with him since, I mean, he's literally the namesake of the entire game. Okay, maybe that'll give us a little bit of luck there. I really have no idea what to expect. Oh, cutscene? Return and told me more about what happened to the Temple of Sinnoh. Chose to protect the land of Hisui after discovering it was no match for you? True. I gotta get him out so I can look at him. Gonna just rest for a second to get that Lux right back up to full health. But yeah, let's take a look at him. Insane. Yeah, origin form. Let's, uh... Oh, where's the item? There it is. Grisius Core. I don't know what that's actually a reference to, if it is. But, uh... Use that on the Giratina. Now he's normal form again. Aren't you happy, Giratina? I helped you get your legs back. Giratina just like... Why don't I get to get transformed into a cool horse like Dialga and Palkia? Oh, another thing I should probably mention uh, while I was waiting, yeah, he gets wings instead. While I was waiting, oh, we automatically got the research level 10 from all the moves we've seen him use. While I was working on actually getting the Granitos. Oh, cutscene. I'll just go ahead and say it. I, I caught a couple more Rotoms, so we got six Rotoms now. I just don't have the last appliance. I don't. I think that'd be kind of a mouthful to call it that. To the mountain. That's where we must go. We're going back up in the sky. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you're here at the very start of the stream. I'll go ahead and say it again. Apparently you are guaranteed a time rift every 40 minutes. 
like the game will check to see if it should spawn one in every five minutes but after 40 minutes you're guaranteed to get one but it does reset the timer if you fast travel leave the area and it pauses the timer if you enter a Pokemon battle allegedly We're about to do it. I really want to make sure that we're ready for this, though. I think so. I think we've got all the stuff we need. I'd like to believe that. That'd be so funny if I ended up just, like, using the stealth spray and, like, a smoke bomb or something. Like, sneak up on Arceus and just hit him with a regular Pokeball and catch him. Oh, I should probably save too while I'm at it. Since I turned off auto save. Just in case. I kinda like the thought of having all the legendaries on my team when it whenever we go after Arceus. So that'll be Giratina. Landers in here. Where'd I put Dialga and Palkia at? There they are. Then I guess Cleavor? I don't think False Swipe is going to do as much good on Arceus himself. Keep the Deluxe Ray with us. Actually, no, Giratina, you go back to Origin form. I think that's the perfect team for Arceus. I think I have a little bit of a reunion. It's kind of a wonder that I can do this and the people in the town don't just like freak out. Guess we're all set. OK. 
Can we wait for the left for the weather to clear up a little bit? Actually, hold on, I'm gonna be back in like thirty seconds. Alright, pack. Uh, I don't know what type he's gonna be. We've got all the plates. I don't know if he's gonna like switch types or something. I'm pretty sure he needs the plates to change types. And we've got them all. And this is exciting. 21 streams. Like more than double the amount of time I've spent on any other game on this stream. There's part of me that's actually kind of sad that it's going to be over. Hopefully they'll add more DLC to the game. I don't know. I mean, obviously Gen 9's coming out later this year. If it doesn't get, like, delayed or something. So we'll, we'll just have to see on that. Triangle. It's a conspiracy. I thought it was like a like a Triforce or something like oh Zelda tie-in. Anyway, here we are. Play that flute. Oh, nice, like the title music. Stairs. That's actually really cool. I was expecting them to just kind of make him show up. I'm gonna build a little tension here. Oh, 
walking back up in this space. Back where we came from. He's right behind you. I've been trying to call you for like a month. Why do you not keep picking up? I'm, I'm right here. I know Arceus is the type that texts you when you're sitting right next to him. Oh no, I turned my phone into a being of pure energy. Oh, this is how it's gonna be. Oh. I, I, I should have expected this. Dark Souls boss. Oh, I'm it's it's gonna take a few attempts. Yeah, this is going to be just like the uh, the other Pokemon. Where we're going to have to uh, probably just like learn his patterns for the first couple of attempts. I don't know why I was like expecting it to be like a regular old Poke battle, like Pokemon battle with a legendary. Wow, that's like heat seeking. He should be the hardest fight. Wow, that's hard to dodge. Okay, I think I mainly need to dodge like the wave like attacks. Oh, that was a little bit early on that one. Yeah, those there's a the the one where he does like all the little tiny beams and the one where he does like waves out to the sides. Those seem to be like the hardest ones to dodge. I'm gonna probably just have to spend most of the fight like dodging him until there's like an opening. Just get what little damage I can here and there, and try and survive long enough to do enough. It's going to be a very defensive battle. Okay. Just instantly zaps me. Yeah, you can't really run from that. That I should have dodged. Like, you pretty much have to use that brief invisibility frame, or invulnerability frame. Here. Oh, that was early. That's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. A 
little bit late on that one. I see how this is going to be. It might be for the best that we caught Giratina so quickly so we can spend like the whole time on Arceus. Because he, he's going to be a challenge. Oh, wasn't expecting the last one. I, th I would have expected him to stop at five. I'm gonna just hang back for a little bit. Makes it easier to uh, dodge that. That might be the best opening because it seems like whenever he does that, he's moment like. That's what he's mainly focused on doing. I can at least get one uh, mysterious bomb out while the wave is going out. Okay, this is hard to dodge. You basically have to be perfect for that. Should have dodged forward. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it. That was early. Okay, he's gonna start doing the laser attack, right? No, he's doing something new. What is that? Uh, I might want to get the heck out of here. That's just like a... He one-shots you? Or maybe it's just because I only had one hit left. Hard to tell. Okay, I'm starting to get the timing on that. Ooh, a little bit late. You can get like two in then. Really? How, how did that get through? I really hate that people do this right when I'm doing final boss fights. One second guys. Just pause everything. Yeah, this guy, uh, ban him. Okay. Now where were we? What 
Whatever you do, do not go to that guy's website because it's probably a scam. Oh, he teleported. That's the first time he's done that. Oh, there's just like a very small safe window where you have to be like right next to him for it to work. Yes, I will restart this battle. I mean, yeah, they're like, oh, you can continue the battle, but that's kind of cheese. Obviously, you got to do it legit. You either do it in one go or... Starting to get that timing, though. You gotta wait near the end of that buzzing sound. It's kind of your cue to jump. Okay, we got him down below a quarter. Oh, we gotta go fast. Oh, this is our this is our attack window here. Let me guess, he's gonna follow it up with an wait. Uh oh. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Oh, now it's going red. Oh, he's locked into this attack pattern here for a second. That's going to be really good for us. We come down below half. Oh. Progress. Slowly but surely. Yeah, I wasn't expecting him to just, like, you know, launch himself like a missile at us. Focusing so hard now. I think we can get three hits in if we're quick. We pretty much have to jump immediately after that third one, though. Okay, he's down a quarter. It seems like he'll keep doing that attack as long as you're outside of range. But as soon as you get inside of range... Oh. Oh, lowered it coming. Literally. Ow. You have to be pretty good with timing that. OK, 
Okay, I've got this, I think. The buzzer means jump now. Speedrunners beat this. Okay, we got him down to a quarter. Well, down by a quarter. So now he's gonna launch himself at us? Yeah, there he is. Oh, it's a little bit early on that. Gone down to half. Still got a few hits left. He's just like, I'll fix that. Ah, that's the one hit left sound. If I like run outside, can I like heal a little bit? Oh, it's getting more intense. The music's speeding up. Ow. I'm pretty confident we're going to get this soon if he doesn't throw anything new at us. Wow, this is not a good attempt. Sometimes it, you can do it like almost like the perfect amount of time, but that hitbox though, you pretty much have to be like perfect to get out of that range. That was a bad attempt anyway. Okay. I think I've got that, that pattern pretty good. Sometimes it catches me off guard with the, the wave you have to dodge, though. Oh, now he's gonna charge at us. Oh no, now he's doing this. I think maybe it has to be below half. Oh no, never mind.
Actually, I think that is available. You can actually dodge that by jumping, I think. Look, he's below half. I swear I hit the jump button. It's like, there's like a certain window of time whenever you throw something where you can't jump. And it keeps like tripping me up. Because I try and get that extra little bit of damage in. And then I, I, I lock myself into not being able to jump. But still, that, that, we keep getting better. It seems like the first movie uses, he actually mixes up sometimes. Kind of surprising. Almost gone down to a quarter without damage. Okay, best attempt so far. Oh, he's like immune to damage now. He was for a second. Yeah, that invulnerability window when you when you roll counts there as well. Here he comes. Oh, just too slow. Still, first point of damage taken. This attempt. Didn't quite run far enough. Oh, this is new. What on earth is this? Oh, what? He charging? We survived that somehow. That did a lot though. That did way more damage than usual because I only took like two or three hits of damage that whole run. I don't know how you dodge that. I guess if you rolled at the right time, if you knew when the damage gets applied, you could still use the invulnerability frames. You kind of have to stay back a little bit whenever he does this, so you can actually have enough time to react. But you gotta be close enough to hit him with stuff. Do it again. Dialga isn't the only one who can rewind time.
Yeah, that's really tricky to dodge. Amateur mistake. Okay, that's what I keep trying to do. Okay, he's down a quarter. Oh boy, here he comes. Oh, jumped a little too early. The buzzer kind of reminds me of like the fitness gram pacer test. Do a lap every time you hear the beep. I walked right into that. Like a total idiot. I was just like waiting for the next like wave of purple stuff. I like, totally forgot about the meteor striking behind me. <laughs> Hate it when that happens. To be to be fair, this is like the the true actual final boss of the game. So I I would hope that he's hard. It'd be so underwhelming if it's just like, oh, you just you sneak up on him and you throw a regular Pokeball at him and you, you got him. Yeah, he's like the legendary that made all the other legendaries. He's like the Pokemon equivalent of God. I guess the way the mythology works is that he made Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina, and then they like made everything else. I think that's how it goes. Which kind of contradicts the old stories of like Mew being the origin of all the other Pokemon. Uh, clarification needed there, Game Freak. Yeah, canonically, I guess he is the most powerful Pokemon. Oh, now he's doing this again. Okay. Oh, over here. I guess you have to pop these illusions. I don't know how you're supposed to dodge this. I'm gonna get the heck out. I don't know what the range is. Or if that's just like guaranteed damage or something. You're just like, boop, you're dead.
Yeah, you honestly, yeah, you'd hope that they would make him a tough fight, but they'd make him the toughest fight. I think that's gonna be like my big challenge now is trying to figure out, like, whenever he does the big explodey attack, how to time dodging that. So I'm pretty sure the invulnerability frames from uh, rolling should should work on that, but it's just really hard to tell when he's gonna do it. Yeah, he creates and destroys. He can bring you into this world. He can take you out of it. No. See, he's actually mad because he, he got his phone bill after all those messages he's been sending us. <laughs> yeah, no hit run would be insane. Yeah, can you just imagine? Like, you make it throughout the entire game not taking a single hit. And then you get here, and then you just, whoop. and then you're just like, okay, I guess I'll have to uh, restart the entire game over again. Which means you'd have to collect uh, 107 wisps again to even get back here. Of course, by then someone speed running would probably have all the locations memorized, but. That'd be a pain. Nuzlocke ain't got nothing on those rules. Gotta get a little closer. Okay, down a quarter. I don't think I took any damage. Oh no. Okay, it's possible. It's definitely possible to avoid taking damage there as long as you jump at right at the right moment. Oh, now, nah, that was a bit early. I'm, like trying to time it. I wonder if you could cheese the fight by getting him stuck in like that attack. Cause it seems like he keeps putting out waves of damage when he does that. And he doesn't stop until you get close. But you can still dodge the damage if you roll while you're in it. So if you're just like technically right outside the circle, I bet you could probably cheese the fight. Send in a Pokemon and do battle, are you insane? My Pokemon would be destroyed instantly. I swear I jumped there. Okay, I gotta move a little bit. He's just like, oh, you're going to move a little bit. Uh, let me help you by lasering you across the world and in the universe. And he's just going to like spawn a black hole and throw me in there. Because he can just do that. Would that be like really weird if I threw like your teen or something out to like fight him? Because Giratina is like the evil one. Which is like, are we technically on the bad guy team then?
Don't know how I didn't take damage there, messing around with switching stuff around. And dodging. And then I always get hit by the first wave of that. I guess that's too far to actually hit him. So I, I think I was wrong about the whole cheesing him by staying just outside the circle strategy there. So I don't think you can actually hit him if, unless you're in the circle. Oh. Okay, so for sure whenever you get him down to half, you can throw a Pokemon out. So, I might go for Giratina then. How did I not dodge that? Okay, it looks like he always does that six times. And then he goes straight into the wave attack directly afterwards, and then I get hit like a total idiot. He's gonna like stun lock me. We've got to be reaching the point where we throw a Pokemon out, right? Darn it, we almost got him down to a quarter. These, these runs are getting better and better. We're just going to have this whole fight muscle memory in. Gonna be able to like beat him with my eyes closed. Oh, opening with lasers, I see. Bold move. Okay, he always does it six times. He's always like really fast with that wave attack, like right afterwards. It always catches me off guard. I was expecting it to take slightly longer. Because it's like the timing between waves and the timing it takes between the laser attack and him sending out waves is like... Like the second one of those is like slightly shorter. I totally hit the jump button there. Can we just talk this out? Oh, here he comes. I always jump early on that. It's always nice when he does that, because that's like a good window of attack. Say hello to your son. Your your least favorite son.
What? His offensive stats are raised. Ghost type does no damage. Is Arceus part ghost type? Dragon Pulse, Dragon Claw, Accuracy 100. Give me some of that. was your son, Arceus. Right, how about a little reunion of Palkia? Also, I'm surprised that Palkia is larger than Arceus in origin form. I mean, I know Palkia is like the one in charge of space, but still. Oh, he changed dragon type. Wait, how did he get access to the scales? I thought we... Or the plates. I thought we had them all. He can just spontaneously change type like that? Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Throughout the zap cat. Okay. See how you like that. Ground type. Uh, that's not good for Luxray. Rip. What do we have that's good against ground type? Oh, Palkia would have been great against ground type. Oh. I didn't mean to accidentally leave battle. Oh, that's not good. I'm not gonna use revives until like before we try and attack him again, because he's probably gonna knock us out and I don't know if that revives our Pokemon or not. I'd rather not waste revives. Ouch, we only had one bit of damage left. Okay, let's test that theory, shall we? Restart battle. Wow, well, he's tough. Okay, yeah, all of our Pokemon are back. So I'm glad I didn't use uh, a Max Revive, because I think we would just be out the Max Revives if we used them. That's good to know. It's not close enough. Maybe that's like an issue I'm, I'm having is that I'm just not getting close enough. I just want to make sure I leave myself enough time to react. Maybe I'm giving myself a little too much time. Okay, that's six. Ah, uh, he got me with the old circle energy trick again. That time I hit the button. I know it's like lame to blame the controller, but... Okay, he's down a quarter. It's not really the controller, it's just, uh... Once you start throwing stuff, there's like a brief window where you can't jump. I keep, uh, messing myself up with that. Oh, but I actually managed to dodge that, though. Let's 
skill. Almost half. Okay, now he's gonna be open. Now he's gonna do the wave thing, right? No, he's gonna do more of the lasers. Ah, I wasn't prepared. Oh, now he's gonna hit me with that. He's gotta keep you on your toes. Yeah, if he goes into the lasers again, there's like a delay, but if he goes into the circle of energy, then it's like faster than it usually is between waves. He's just like, switch up. Pulling a little Nintendo Switch on us. He's just mad that he's stuck in a golden hula hoop. Oh, that was really bad timing. I was just kind of realizing, oh, I am nowhere near close enough to him. It's just like I have to be a certain amount away from him to be able to react in time to the circle. He's trapped in a circle, so now he's going to trap us in a circle. Always jump early. Oh, if you get closer to him, you can do more damage in a shorter amount of time because it takes less time for the projectile to reach him. Get, like right next to him. That's the trick, I think, is knowing when you can get up close to him so you can do the fast attacks. Whoa, that was a delay. I was just like, okay, the meteor exploded. That means I'm I'm clear to not get damage from that. And then it exploded a second time, and I'm like, oh, that's when it applies damage. I w see, I would have expected whenever the meteor actually hits you, that's the part when you when you take damage. There's probably like a good strategy to like run at him first thing and then like jump back. For that first circle. If he doesn't laser you. Whatever you do, don't jump back. Jump forward, jump to the side, but don't jump back. Okay, now you can get close to him, and just... 
throw this stuff at him like a ton because he'll only hurt you outside the circle. Okay, dodge at that time. Getting better at jumping a little bit later. Now we can get right up next to him. Getting a little bit lucky with this attempt. Oh, what? Of course I say that. Okay, is he gonna hit us with the circles? No, he's gonna hit us with the shadow clones. Oh, he's just gonna run next to him. He's stunned. Okay, maybe back up a little bit. Oh, I rolled back. The one direction to not roll that I said myself not to roll back, and I roll back. <laughs> just like, get away. Okay, energy circles? Yes. If I can just dodge that first one, we're golden. Okay, energy circles or lasers? Oh, he's going for lasers. Teleport? No, circles. Managed to dodge it anyway. Down a quarter? Now he's gonna teleport for sure whenever he changes red. Get right up next to him. Just like count to four or something whenever he does that. Oh, giving us a free window of attack here. It seems like whenever he does that attack, he's always going to teleport. Oh, I thought I got hit by that. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's going to teleport. Shadow clones, aim for the middle. So you don't know which side he's going to do it first. Okay, get right next to him so I can just really get him good. Oh, he's blue now, so he's not going to teleport. If he's red, he teleports. If he's blue, he stays split. Ah, too late with the dodging. Ah, frustrating when I know what to do and then I don't do it. Brain reacting faster than my fingers. We need to fix that. Oh, I appreciate the kind words. It's just like, I guess... Any boss battle, really, where you just gotta learn the patterns. And then once you... That's one thing that Nintendo is really good about, is telegraphing, like, what a boss is about to do. Once you learn how to read a boss, then you'll win every time. Of 
course, that just takes practice to get to that point. Okay, now he's red, which means he's gonna teleport. I like it when he does this attack, because then we can get like right up next to him and just absolutely wail mysterious bombs all over him. Yeah, <laughs> this is basically a Dark Souls boss. Like a really well telegraphed Dark Souls boss. Note, I've never actually been in a Dark Souls game. We got lucky with this circle. Okay, this is like free. Oh, he's blue now, which means he's gonna start circling. Oh, he's gonna laser. Now the circles. I think he only teleports when red. Oh, he goes in for more circles. I was expecting him to turn red and teleport. So, yeah, definitely misread that. Yeah, I'm very tempted to just, like, go through a phase of just, like, playing all the Dark Souls games on stream. I think that'd be kind of funny. Definitely jump there. I like dodge to avoid the meteor and jump right into the circle. keep doing things without my brain's permission. Okay, teleporting time. Lasers? No. The purple circle. This is a freebie. Teleport. There he goes. One, two, three, four. Okay. Teleports. Oh, he's going to jump at us again. Circles. This one's nice because this is basically given to us. Okay, I'm going to throw out a Pokemon. Oh, I guess I missed that window. Still managed to dodge the circle though, but. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I don't really see much point in sending out a Pokemon if he's just going to one-shot us. He can just change his type to whatever he wants in this game, apparently. 
Fair play, his name's in the box. I, I definitely... Oh, man. Again. Okay, blue, which means circle. This should be free damage if I can just, you know, time it right. Lasers. Oh, just a little bit early on that one. Let me kind of... This is kind of a freebie. Only took one hit of damage so far. Almost got him down to half. Down to half with only one hit. Oh, he's gonna circle. Oh, I went right into that meteor. I should probably just hang back on this. Okay. Meteors? Or, yeah. Missiles. Turn right again. Every time I throw stuff and then I don't jump in time, it hurts. I gotta play this one on more defensively, I think. But otherwise, that'll happen. Yeah, if it, I think if it's like halfway into the fight and he starts doing the circle attack again, I should probably just hang back a little bit and just focus on avoiding damage instead of trying to do damage. Because whenever he opens himself up to damage, it's uh, usually a pretty big window. So, I mean the fight will take slightly longer, but I could probably get more consistent results. Do two. Don't try and get that third one. It keeps screwing me up. I'm assuming your your character just needs like some time before they can go from the throwing animation to the jumping animation. Oh, he's gonna teleport now anyway. A little bit early. Should have started counting later. That was six, though. The 
that's like a key thing with these kinds of games, I think, is just knowing when it's safe to go in and when it's not. Like right there, it was safer to go in. But now it's not. Now we want to hang back. Lasers. Go in. Jump. Don't get greedy, just do two, not three. That way my animations are open for me to, to roll out in time. I don't know how to dodge this. Oh, I think you just have to hit him four times before he explodes. He's only done that like twice this whole time. I think that's just it. Is we gotta make sure that we hit four bits of damage there on him before he has a chance to explode. Or else he'll basically one-shot us. Getting so close. And then messing up the patterns I had down. That's like the most cursed sentence ever in video games is like I've totally got this now. I will never make a mistake again. Okay, he's gonna teleport. Probably gonna laser now, right? No. Circle. So what, does he go circle, then lasers, then circle, then back to blue again? Probably. Oh no, now he's gonna fly at us. I forgot about that part. Then lasers. If we were a little bit closer, we could have done a little bit more damage there. Uh, it's just too late with getting the damage in there. So now we're down to one one shot. So yeah, might as well just wipe. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to be really glad that Giratina didn't take too long. It's always like the best runs whenever he starts off by trying to laser us. As long as you dodge that first one, it's pretty easy to keep going from there. I got greedy and went through the three. Sometimes you can pull it off.
think you can attack faster if you're not locked on. If you're like right next to him. Okay, now lasers? Yes. I'm starting to think it might be better to just fight the fight without locking on at all. I'd like to go slower if you locked on. Okay, okay it's gonna do circles. Oh. Never mind. Now he's doing the circles. like the soft version of what me playing Dark Souls would be like. I'm just realizing. I totally jumped there. Why do I take so long to load back into this? Guess there's a lot going on here. like a sweet spot with uh, how far away to be to, to start doing this attack. <laughs> Arceus jump scare. I don't even need to see him. Just jump at the right time. I should have been closer. Such a big open window here. I was totally expecting him to go into the circle attack there. Focus on not taking damage. If you can do a little, that's great. If you can't, just don't get hit. I say as I get hit.
Oh, this again. Don't, don't you do it. Grotto Pokemon is down to like a quarter. I'm gonna use the Pokemon to try and do damage. Maybe I'll get lucky. I'm gonna try throwing a Pokeball at him just to see. I, I'm, I'm saying, yeah, I thought so. The game is gonna tell us. You're not allowed to do that. I just wanted confirmation. Okay. So I guess he starts off Ghost type. Otherwise, Shadow Force would actually be able to do something. So maybe I shouldn't be opening with Giratina. You know, it might be a good idea actually to bait him into switching types and then throwing out something that's super effective against the type that we make him go into. Like if I throw out Luxray, he'll switch to ground. And then I throw out Palkia and use water stuff against him. Gonna double up on the extra sensory. And chance increase increased chances of critical hit. All solar's targets defensive stats. We're going for that. Bigger power. Gonna knock out Giratina, but that's fine. So that's a free switch out into Luxray we're gonna go straight into. Get the paralysis going. And try and bait him into switching to ground type. Ground type, there it is. Okay, go on. One shot me. Do it. Now, Palkia. Pressure washed God. Oh. Really? We had it so good. I guess I kind of deserved that a little bit. He caught me slacking. He caught me lacking. You know how to trick him now. And he's starting off with lasers, which is good luck. I didn't realize there was another one there. I just saw myself run up to him and that window that was coming up. I forgot that I wasn't quite there yet. We know how to trick him now, though, if we get him into a battle.
I think I'm almost at the point where I can reliably get that timing down on that too. Almost half. If you dodge and roll forward, you can get right up next to him. Run, 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 run. I think you just gotta get in the circle in time. Maybe I should be throwing Dialk out first. Okay, start with Earth Power, because that'll, re that'll reduce the defensive stats. I wonder if you can double up on that. You absolutely can double up on that. Okay, free switch out. And his offensive stats are back to normal. Yeah, he's super affected, but okay, so I guess he does start as normal type. So I should be leading the Lucario, so I can hit him with like a Aura Sphere or Close Combat or something. Obviously hit him with a Thunder Wave, that could definitely uh, come in clutch. Oh that actually worked. Okay, fantastic. I'm going to switch out for the Lucario and hope that he stays normal. Okay, Paralysis. Okay, no, we, we actually get to attack straight away. His defensive stats are down and we got something super effective right out the gate. Okay, he's back online. Okay, it's gonna go in the circle again. Okay. I'm inside his head now. I'm like a psychic type. It's down to less than a quarter. This might be it. Don't get greedy now. Just do what you can, when you can. Eventually you get there. Got him. Just barely. We were like one hit away from getting <laughs> absolutely destroyed there. Oh, now he's gonna now he's gonna try and talk us out of it. Now has done well to seek out all Pokemon, and also not get absolutely destroyed by me. I was literally trying to laser you to death five seconds ago. But let's just talk it out now. <laughs> Fair enough, it's your game. Unflagging devotion to a goal, shalt see it through. True. Oh, that's what this was. This was a test. 
I see what you're up to. So hast thou proven by thine actions? I'll say. As much as that ancient hero once did. What ancient hero? I the Pokemon that walked beside him. See such truths proven anew beyond the bounds of time and space. Bringeth joy to me. Glad that I chose thee to call to this world. So this is uh, him straight up saying that he's the reason why we're here. He just yoinked us from the future. As thou walkest onward upon thine own path, upon thee and upon this creation where thou now dwellest, still my blessing. Bestow upon thee a part of myself, a part. You received the legend plate from Arceus. I should be saying Arceus, I'm pretty sure that's the correct pronunciation. That's closer to the Japanese pronunciation. I keep getting his name wrong, I think. Legend plate, that's new. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of all creation when used on a certain Pokemon. Gee, I wonder who that certain Pokemon is. Allows the Pokemon to gain the power of every type there is? Excuse me, what? He's all the types simultaneously. Get wrecked, all other Pokemon. You can be super effective against all the things. Wait, does that mean that you're also, like, super affected by all the things? If you're all types combined? Oh man, that feels deserved. That's the great thing about the fights that are really challenging, is when you finally beat them, it, it's, it's always worth it. It always feels worth it. Uh-oh. He's calling us again? Hey, why the heck did you send me over to this random farm? I am in the pasture. Hey, get me out of here. Have a rematch? Oh, if you walk forward, you can fight him again. You can, like, fight him as many times as you want. Do nothing. That's a cool feature. I was just just saying, like, the last stream, how I wish that they made it so you could fight other stuff in the other arenas. It looks like they did do that for the for Arceus himself. Or Arceus. Then you can just keep rematching him if you, if you like. We've done it. We've become the very best there ever was, and caught them all. Complete Arceus's test. And all the other references to the lyrics of the original Pokemon song. This is like Pokemon taken to an extreme. So, I guess the question on my mind now is, now what? What do you do after you uh, after you catch uh, the literal creator of the universe? Let's show, let's show this to the uh, professor and see what he has to say about it.
Oh. The research is perfect already. Receive a part of Arceus. That's kind of funny that that's like the first Pokedex entry that we've like 100 percented is Arceus himself. Just one check mark there. Habitat unknown. Habitat literally everywhere. I still doesn't have the last uh, appliance for Rotom. I'm gonna try and get the get the Rotom forms figured out. We've got the appliances. It's... We've got a couple hours left here, and we've literally got Arceus himself now. <laughs> which Rotom gets to become a lawn implement. You'll do. Behold, you are now a lawnmower. Wait, we still keep the lawnmower? So we can, oh, I see. So we can theoretically transform as many Rotoms as we want into whichever form. Okay, so you actually aren't like fixed to uh, like whenever you change the Rotom, it's just stuck that way. You can switch it around if you want it to become something else. That's good to know. So if you have like a shiny Rotom, you won't have it like locked into, you know, one specific form. We have six of them now. So theoretically, the only thing stopping us from getting all the forms is missing appliance. I still can't believe there is an unknown hanging outside our window that pretty much the whole time. That Rotom gets to be spicy. Yeah, that one was really surprising too, because I must have gone through there like a million times. I just kind of hanging right in front of a letter. So you're just like, oh, he's supposed to be there. Okay, I forget what the what the final form of, of Rotom is that we're missing. We don't quite have it yet. Let's get uh, Arceus out of here. Because uh, it doesn't really do him justice to be sitting in the pasture. Where he at? Uh, one moment. Let's 
search. I imagine most people in the uh, Pokemon universe don't use the phrase searching for Arceus so literally. Oh, there he is. It's because he's mostly black and white except for the little yellow bit on the on the top of his head, so it's like kind of blended in. How is everyone not like freaking out in the village that he's here? He has arrived. So what happens if we use the plate that has all of the types on him? Whoosh. Alright, are we ready to see this? Oh wait, he looks the same. What does that say on his stats then? This is normal type. Oh, maybe he already had that in effect. Wait, incompatible. Uh. Confusion? Oh, so he was normal to begin with. Now he's still considered normal by the game, but he has all the types simultaneously? Recover. So he can just heal himself. Extrasensory. Judgment. Okay, so that one changes depending on, like, which type of plate you, you use on him. So I guess currently that does every type simultaneously. And then Hyper Beam, of course. We gotta try that out. Uh, let's see. Maybe go to the ice area? Find a really unlucky Pokemon to spontaneously just zap. Well, Snorat's the first one we saw. Why does it say fire type? Oh, does it automatically change to be whatever super effective? Is that how that works? Oh. So it's like he changes type and then attacks in the same turn. I don't think Arceus has ever, or Arceus has ever worked that way before. So what happens if we go against uh, Apom? Because they're like normal or something, so like fighting would be super effective. Yeah, it just changes to whatever type happens to be super effective, so he's always super effective. Suddenly fighting type. That's absolutely insane and totally broken. But then again, I guess that's what you'd expect. Just 
just gonna like make him pick various words and stuff. It's absolutely insane. So, what do we do now? I guess let's work on the massive mass, mass outbreaks and see if we can't get another shiny. We got that shiny uh, Sligu. I want to try and get them to be like a Gudra. So that way our shinies are all like their final evolutions. We get to see those. So if there's like people using this game for like Pokemon battles with like other trainers, like I know you can do. Uh, does that mean that literally everybody is using Arceus? Because that that's that is broken. I guess I'll swap them out for the Luxray. Like, how do you counter that? I guess that does confirm, though, if you if you are fighting Arceus, it will transform into whatever is the uh, super effective type. So you can totally use that to your advantage to trick him into turning into a type that you have other Pokemon that are super effective against. Like I did with tricking him into being Earth type and then hitting him with Palkia's Hydro Pump. That does seem to be something you can count on to always work. When do you evolve? I know that they're dragon type. So they probably evolve pretty late. I might just go ahead and use experience candy on him. I'm so glad that we could, uh, you know. This is the first time in a Pokemon game that I've completely filled out the Pokedex. I usually don't tend to stick with them long enough to do that, but in this game, uh, kind of don't have a choice if you want to get the true ending. There's so many cool, cool ideas that they did in this game, like the idea of taking like starters from different regions and giving them different type final evolutions. I'd love to see them do that again. They, they didn't focus on Gen 1 for once. This game absolutely did a ton of things right. Yeah, I always hear people say that, oh, if Gen 9 is going to play like this game, then they wouldn't mind it. And you know what? I think I'm going to be one of those too. I really like the uh, open world take on uh, Pokemon games. I feel like historically Nintendo has been really uh, hesitant to change anything with the Pokemon formula. 
I mean, it's it's literally the most profitable franchise on Earth. They don't want to screw that up. But it, it's really nice seeing them take uh, so many risks. Well, not necessarily risks, but experimenting, I guess, is the right word. With the Pokemon formula in this game. And I would really like to see more of that, personally. I mean, they don't seem to have any problems with experimenting with their other big franchises. Like, you never know what to expect with the Legend of Zelda games or Mario games. So it only makes sense to me that they would, you know, do some weird stuff with Pokemon now and then. Obviously, I would like to see, like, a abilities and hold items and things like that that were missing in this game from mainline games return for Gen 9. But I'm assuming those changes were to make the game more uh, collection oriented and less battling oriented. Like there's hardly any trainers to fight in this game compared to your usual Pokemon game. Or it seems like you can't take like three steps without someone crossing eyes with you and then you start fighting. This game, you know, you've got a huge stretch of time between a trainer fight and another trainer fight, to the point where it almost catches you off guard. And you're just like, oh, I'm, I'm suddenly fighting an, another, like, computer player. Instead of a wild Pokemon. So I'm sure there's, they're going to bring back a lot of the typical subjects in uh, Gen 9. Again, I'm so super surprised that they're like, oh, that's coming this year. And you can definitely count on me playing that game whenever it comes out. Just a little bit worried about the time frame. I guess Nintendo has been, you know, waiting until the last minute to tell us something's on its way these days. Yeah, Scarlet and Violet. Apparently, like, uh, like the games are always set in regions that are based off of somewhere in the real world. I guess uh, Scarlet and Violet's world's based off of Spain. Kind of like how the Gala region was based off of the UK. The Alolan region is like based off of Hawaii. A lot of the older generations took place in basically regions of Japan. Like I, I know for sure that Gen 1 takes place in basically the Pokemon equivalent of like the area where Tokyo is. So that, that'll be interesting to see how, uh, like the design inspirations. I'm also very curious to see which inanimate objects get turned into Pokemon this time. Because we're already at the point where we've got like Pokemon that are made from like a literal key ring. So I wonder what we're going to get next. Like some sort of chair Pokemon? Are they going to call him Chairmander? I don't know. I'm just really excited to see like what the new designs are going to be for those Pokemon. And yes, I already have picked my starter. I will be going with Grass Cat. Yeah, my exact reaction whenever I... I actually saw the trailer, like, whenever they dropped it live. And, uh, yeah, my exact reaction was Grass Cat, and the fire one is like, is that, is that like Appleton? 
but like fire type. And I looked at the the duck and I'm like, that's just straight up Donald Duck. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Grass Cat. Let's do a massive mass outbreak, shall we? Wait, let me get, uh, Cleavor. I wonder if you're going to be able to get access to the Hisuian Pokemon in, like, Gen 9? Or if they're just, like, permanently stuck in the past? That's like a concern of mine, because there's a lot of really cool Pokemon they've added here. It's just like, are they going to somehow like tie it in story-wise? Like, oh, we, we found these these Pokemon uh, from the distant past that have just been uh, hanging out somewhere we didn't check yet. And you can suddenly get all the Hisui Pokemon in the future. Or if it, they're just going to be like, the Hisuian Pokemon are Arceus, or Pokemon Legends Arceus only. So that's something I, I, I want to see how what they do with that. Um, uh, what else? Oh yeah, we we're gonna get Gleevor. False Swipe is just too good. I always, uh... That's probably the best strategy for getting Pokemon. Like, filling out the Pokedex. Is to have a false swipe user. If I can find them again. Oh, I should probably check the the time too. Ninety three hours and thirteen minutes. I actually think I spent more time in uh, Sword and Shield. Actually, I think I'm pretty sure I, I spent like over 120 hours in that game. I think that was mostly from like trying to breed shinies. So a good chunk of that time was spent, you know, on the bike. With with Pokemon eggs, trying to trying to get shinies the old-fashioned way. So, even if I spent a little bit less time in this game, it was all actually playing the game. Pretty much. Other than that, forty minutes of waiting for uh, Cranidos to appear. Where did I put him? I'm just going to search for him. Yeah, the game's... I, I, I would say it's not perfect. There's definitely a few things I wish were a little bit different. I think there's some stuff that's a little bit time sinky that could have been a little bit better. But any complaints I have with this game are small nitpicks. Overall, I, I really would love to see them do like another Pokemon Legends game. Okay, we got Cleavor. Oh right, the flower. I didn't do the thing with the with the one guy, the shaman. I didn't see his other form yet. Cause he's from a game I didn't play. Because what you do is you use the flower on him and he transforms. Now they're like flying type or whatever. Yeah, grass flying. 
I really can't wait to see what the final evolutions for uh, for the starters look like for Gen 9. Not gonna lie, there is a little bit of me that's a little bit worried that Grass Cat's gonna turn into Green Incineroar. Um. Ah, eh, why not? I'm gonna bring Torterra just because that was that was my starter in original Diamond and Pearl. It's so easy to forget that this is the same region as Diamond and Pearl. All right, let's let's do these mass mass outbreaks. See if we can't uh, net us a couple more shinies. Since this this will be the last stream unless they release uh, some new DLC for the game. I'm pretty sure that that's what these massive mass outbreaks are for, is for uh, you know speeding up the rate that you get shinies. Because this was technically part of the DLC that they already dropped for the game. Wow. All right, there's there's all alphas here. Yeah, I, I talked to a friend who plays this game. Apparently, after you beat the uh, massive mass outbreak kind of side quest here, it does just keep happening. So we don't have to worry about using all of them up. He seemed kind of... Uh, honestly, that friend seemed a little bit annoyed with how frequently they happen. If you're specifically trying to hunt for a specific shiny, because it changes like which Pokemon appear where. But, I mean, you could just leave the area and come back if that happened. Wait, what? Arceus maps. Oh! So now it's just showing us what all the Pokemon are and where. So there's definitely a shiny score rupee to be had here. But there's also a big old quill lava. I'm going to go for the Quilava, just like, since it's along the way. I'm going to fly in this direction, because that would be really cool if I could get, like, an Alpha Hisuian Typhlosion. And then go for the Shiny Score Rupee. Massive outbreaks are ongoing. You can give a guava berries to find some munchlax to find out Pokemon are appearing. Oh, so you just give him the berries, and then the berry he'll 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 fill you in on the on the details. How that works, I have no idea. Munchlax is an expert cartographer. I'm really happy I picked Typhlosion as my starter in this game. I'm not saying I dislike the other starters, but I am saying that I like uh, History and Typhlosion the best.
Oh, there he is. Wait, none of them are angry. Oh, I should have expected that. That's so weird being attacked by starters. Please don't kill me. Bit of an expert stealth maneuver. Um, okay. Use the stealth spray too. Why is he asleep? You might as well be. Yeah. Really? That's how you're going to do this? <laughs> you're messing with the wrong trainer. Oh, it goes for rock type instead of... Uh, instead of water type. That's interesting. I would have expected him to change to water type. Get judged. Smite all the other Pokemons. Oh, this one's gonna be water type for some reason. And of course, he changes colors. That's kind of cool that the particle effects are changing to, uh, to match the type, too. That's a nice touch. Sounds like something else saw us. Really? All right, the clock's ticking. That's so weird that the smoke disappears. If you enter a battle, it's, it's like, it stops a lot of the other time-based functions in the game. Can I do it? Level 63. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get an alpha one of these. Doesn't seem like they're appearing. Really? 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 Okay. That's cool, that's fine. Still, I want to get over here and get that shiny score rupee then, at the very least. I have faith that the, uh... Someone else will find that satchel, and any stuff that we may have lost will we'll be returned to us in the end, eventually. Okay, where's the shiny at? Where's the shiny at? Uh, try and scope him out from afar. Oh, stealth. Gonna go at this like some sort of score rupee mission impossible. some tactical smoke out. Um, okay. 
I got plenty of Ultra Balls, so just ca keep catching these until eventually the shiny shows up. And then I think this one's about to wear off, so we'll find another one. Where's the shiny at? It's supposed to be here somewhere. Stealth spray. Catch every one of them but the shiny. I don't see the shiny. Okay. A new horde seems to have formed. What? I beg your pardon? Four in a row. No, don't do it. There's just like brief lapse of time where the smoke and the stealth spray were both worn, worn off. Back. Oh, they heard that. That was not the right item to use. Maybe we fly out and then we fly back in. So they don't know that we're here anymore. And then more stealth spray. Come on. Let's see them shinies. Oh, you have to defeat all the Pokemon in one thing before the Alphas show up. Oh, I'm an idiot. I could have got the Alpha Typhlosion. I don't really care about Squirrelpy that much. Maybe if I go back, I can grab the Typhlosion before this all goes away. Because I'm not seeing that shiny over here. Go, go, go. Rainstorm seems like it's about to clear up. Don't do it. Game, please. That's fine. I only need one leg to move. So we gotta get rid of, we gotta clear these out for the shiny to appear, I think. As much as it pains me to do so. He's getting judged. Like a Pokemon contest. I think it'd be actually faster to catch them than it would be to fight them. If I can just get the next batch to appear. Brainstorm seems to have ended. Aw, oh, darn it. Just too late. I think. 
Unless they appear now. Well, at least we don't have any shortage of uh, quill lavas anytime soon. That's funny. Maybe one day. Oh, our, our Pokemon searching efforts are just starting to bear fruit? Yeah. close to basically filling this all out. I think the only thing you get for like filling those out is effectively increased shiny odds. expected there to be something here. Since there's like this little tiny village here, they could have probably put something here. Or over here. Yeah, definitely. Going out the old Pokedex. I don't know when this guy actually rotates his stuff around. I'm gonna buy all of it. Maybe that'll help him get some more stuff in. The game's prompting me to support my local business. Wait, did it just say that the stealth spray wore off? We made it all the way to the village without it wearing off. There's a particularly strong batch of stealth spray. So I guess at this point, if you've basically beaten the game, the berries are what you want because that'll give you more stuff to give the munchlax for the mass outbreaks. Six thing? Uh, there is a sixth thing. I just don't remember what it is. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna look it up really quick. Cause there's no guarantee I'm I'm even gonna see that this stream. Uh, Rotom forms. And I, I I totally am blanking out on what the what the final what the other form is. Oh, forget everything I just said. Wait. Yeah. No, you're, you're actually right. There is actually only five forms, and the sixth form is just Rotom himself. So, yeah, actually I don't need to find another appliance because we've got all of them. Yeah, that was kind of suspicious actually, because I'm like, oh, usually it was just giving us appliances back to back to back out of the uh, Ginkgo Guild guy. And then it's just like nothing for like a really long time. And the reason why it's nothing is because we bought them all. That explains a thing or two. Where's Rotom? Alphabetize. 
So mine should show it totally filled out then. Because I've got the other five. Ra 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 tom. I guess it's just a matter of preference if you'd like electric ghost type or electric some other type. Yeah, there it is. Number forms obtain six. Kind of surprised they didn't put like separate entries for each of them. But then again, I guess it doesn't need them. I should probably cash out all this star shards and stuff. Where's that crafting bench? Yeah, so if you've got uh, the five different appliances and regular Rotom, you've got them all. Wait, you can craft these? Oh, there's like no point to doing that though. How about you buy my materials, strange person? Always oh, got a lot of these stones. Does he have iron? He does have iron. That's like the limiting thing for making like a, a million jet balls, which are like the best one in my opinion, just from the range. Go on for flying for days. Pokemon cannot escape that. Sell all the things. Four hundred twenty-eight thousand Pokemon dollars. Maybe I should go try to attempt that a uh, really insane balloon course. See if we can't get it. You thought Arceus was the uh, final boss. We're just getting started. There's a lot of missing numbers for side quests, but I don't see any uh, requests available. <laughs> yeah. Arcia, Skiratina, Dialga, Palkia, get the whole squad there. Some sort of legendary family photo. <laughs> That's kind of terrifying that, like, the actual creator of the universe, space, time, and dimensions, is all being controlled by some random kid who fell out of the sky. This world is not ready. Time to drive ourselves nuts with a bunch of balloons. Mm. 
No, I don't want to quit my run. I, but I might as well have now. You basically have to memorize which order the different uh, Pokemon are in. Oh. This is like the cruelest part of them all. Because if you miss once, it's just like, there goes this entire run. We're probably gonna get a, a good prize though for going this far. No. Oh, there's more down there. I thought this was like the last one. No, it really does keep going though. Yeah, I'm not making any guarantees I'm gonna actually beat this one. Just because this is insane. Extremely unforgiving. Nope. Now I literally can't get back up to that high enough. Unless I get on that. But the bird's so floaty. No, I don't want to quit my run. Why would they do that? Like, the same button you use to get off the bird usually, like, gives you a prompt if you want to quit the run or not. So I'm like so used to like a muscle memory den hitting the plus button to like drop off the bird so I can get back on it again at a lower point. But if you try and do that now, it's just like, huh, no. You yeah, you wanna quit the run? Well well now I do. And it completely throws you off. I'll, I'll do a couple of attempts at this, at least. See if we can't make any progress on it. I'm not going to be too upset if I don't do it before the end of the stream, though. I'm just hoping that maybe they give you enough time that it doesn't... Like, you've got enough slack to give you enough wiggle room in terms of time. That it's not really an issue. That's about the only way I can see this being a Saiyan challenge to even put forward. Oh, that's a good run, actually. Still have a minute left. Maybe they did actually give us just a ton of time. Then what, I'm supposed to do this? No. Well, I guess I'm not getting that one. Up, oh, and we're toast. No recovering from that, hardly. Because, like, you can't just drop... Usually I'll just drop off the bird by hitting plus, but if I do that, it's just like, oh, do you want any run? And now there's literally no way for me to get up high enough. He's so floaty. Just stay in one spot. Try and land on that pillar so I can get more height. Take you a whole minute just to correct. Lucky if you don't just fall to your doom. Anytime a game makes you directly fight the muscle memory it itself gives you, I, I feel like that's bad design.
Okay, there's 50 balloons total. Let's do this one more time and just see how far we get and see if we get close to 50. Go, go, go. Sneezer just has to touch the balloon and it just pops on him. So sad. So like the only thing you can do to switch uh, the Pokemon that you're riding on is to go through the like D-pad menu. But they intentionally made it so some of the ones that you need, like you have to go through several to even get there. Oh, yep. Screwed that up. Maybe we can recover it. But I can't just drop normally. I have to switch to something else. Fall in, turn to fish. Jump out, double jump, braviary. Now we've recovered. Like 20 seconds later. I guess from here we're supposed to just dive. Wait, wrong button. Okay, that, that's on me for hitting the wrong button, I guess. But... Oh, now I'm too low. I'll never get that in time. Because there's literally no way to correct that in under half a minute. It's kind of addictive, though. You're just like, I'll get it this time. Oh, I didn't get it this time? I'll get it next time. I didn't get it next time? I'll get it for the next, next time. with the fish. That's a fatal error. And you can't, like, charge forward here either, else you lose a little bit of altitude. How to salvage. No, don't end the run. Okay, drop with literally anything. And I guess we're supposed to jump and then braviary. Did I just did I just do it? Wait, where are the other balloons? There's other balloons here? Oh, they're down. Oh no, that's actually just a regular braviary. Or a regular uh, balloon. Pokemon, I forget the name, Drifloon. Did I miss one somewhere? Uh. I didn't even see where the rest of them were. Oh, that counted. You just had to get 30. I guess we are getting that one this stream. That's surprising.
so I guess the last quest we have here is the massive mass outbreaks, but it's pretty random if those show up. And that, that's actually, I believe that was added with the DLC for this game. So it's not part of, like, the base game or anything. Yeah, we're missing a few side quests, though, like 24 is missing here. I don't know where I was supposed to pick some of these up. Yeah, let's go back to the village and get that picture. I had enough balloons for today. Someone should do like a like a fan game that's like Bloons Tower Defense, but it's like Driftloon Tower Defense. And you have like an Infernape throwing darts at it. Like all the all the Driftloons coming through. Now there's a game idea. No, these are shiny at all. All right. Got totally distracted. I swear every system in this game is designed to distract you. Giratina. Uh, where is the others? Dialgia. Dialgia. Dialgula. I want to go ahead and uh, use a bunch of experience candy on the Sligu as well. So we get that shiny Gudra. Yeah, use the big ones. Can it evolve yet? No. Eat more candy. No, not you. I'm sure it's because it's dragon type. Dragon types always take forever to evolve. I'm not sure what level they evolve at. 65... 66... I guess that makes sense. Like, the only thing that's really different between, like, Gumi, Sligu, and, uh, Gudra is just they get larger. So just keep feeding them candy and they just spontaneously evolve.
70? 71. Enhance. Is it going to literally be like level 80 before they evolve? What the heck? I refuse to believe that they wouldn't normally evolve by now. I think we're- I think they need something to evolve. There's- there's gotta be a little bit more to this. I'm gonna look it up really quick. I mean, I know that they're a dragon-type pseudo-legendary, but still, 80's pretty high for that. Okay, all Gumis will turn into Hisui and Gudra eventually. Oh, it has to be leveled up during the rain! Oh, that's what it is. Good thing I, I didn't use up the last rare candy. That would have been unfortunate. Straight up about to use everything. I didn't know. I didn't play this. I didn't play uh, whatever game uh, that contained a Gudra in long enough, if ever, to figure that out. Bring on the rain. I keep giving it food, but I keep not giving it water. There's my problem. The two essential ingredients in making a Gudra. Sugar and water. And now it's not going to rain for, like, an in-game year. Can I just throw them in the lake, in the village? Like, like in the stream in the village? I'm sure they'll get more water that way. That is pretty insane, though. Like, the evolutions. I, I still haven't got over the uh, Ursaluna evolution totally yet. If the stars align correctly, and you also have one of the rarest items for evolutions in the game, where's all the rain at? Cool sounds better for rain, maybe? True. I bet they did hard code it to have more rain because you need it for thunderous. They probably did just straight up, and also that it's like the water area, so it makes sense that it would be raining all the time. And rain. No? Okay. Give it a little bit. So can Arceus still do his thing if he's in a Pokeball? Because if, if he had like a list of things to do... Uh... I guess he's a little bit preoccupied right now. 
It's like the entire universe like undoing itself because we caught him and now he, he can't do anything. This is like the worst luck with rain. See, the, the game is actually a psychic type Pokemon. It can it can read when you uh when you want something, and it'll adjust the odds on the fly to make sure you don't get it. To like out into the water practically. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm choosing midday. Oh, precipitation. We have precipitation. Where there's rain, there's Gudra. Ah, uh, yes. Giant shiny snail dragon. I wanted to make sure to get that. That's kind of crazy that they made him like part steel type in this game. Yeah, steel dragon. With also poison type moves. And water. Pretty tanky. Return to the village. I wish I could have more than uh, six Pokemon for the purposes of uh, taking the pictures at least. Actually, can we do more than one? Prepare a Pokemon. Oh, can we do as many as we want? Okay. Select Arceus. Prepare a Pokemon. Please tell me we can do more than one. Oh no, you can only do one! Change the screen. That's like the goofiest screen we have. Oh, it's all just solid colors. Galaxy Team logo. School picture day. Green screen. So the background. Oh, wait, that's not the right green. That way you can make the background whatever you want it to be. Sunset filter. Wait, what does that actually look like? Oh. Doesn't look great. <laughs> Direct your Pokemon. <laughs> Pretend to faint. Oh. 
Act harder. Act dizzy. They may be a legendary, but they're not a very good actor. I don't buy it for a second. Oh yeah, he's totally sleeping. And not just closing his eyes and looking down slightly. Act, act natural. I'm gonna get rid of that sunset filter because that just looks bad. Plain filter. Did they have cameras at this time? well with him. Black screen, because he's like mostly white, so there's like a lot of contrast. Change the screen, change the... Yeah, take photos. Sitting confidently. Sup? What you got there? Uh, a bench? Look troubled. What is that expression? Actually, 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 if they're here, oh, I can't, uh, they've made it so I can't throw Pokemon out here because I was like, oh, I can just cheat and use uh, throwing out the Pokemon normally. They won't let me do it. Game, why? That's such a weird choice of, of words to prepare the Pokemon. Like you're preparing a slideshow presentation. And you'll see here, Exhibit A. Uh, take this picture and like be like non-believers get wrecked change your expression serious perfect
cake. Now... Is he gonna stay here if I, if I do that? We'll make it. We'll make our own picture. Actually, what's a better background? What's like the most interesting area? Oh, I know. A volcano. If you have the choice between taking a picture some random location or taking a picture near a volcano, obviously volcano's cooler. I appreciate the music score here and its use of bongos. like that. We need to take a picture here. Oh yeah, I forgot that they can shoot flamethrowers through a wall. Palkia's got this one, I think. Oh, I'm on fire! Stop, drop, and roll. Now you've done it. on someone your own size. I mean, I guess that makes sense to take the picture here, because that's like one of the things that's most associated with the uh, Sinnoh region, or I guess Hisui region, is Wait. No, it's Mount Coronet. We're on the wrong volcano. They won't know. We'll just we'll just take the picture here and say it's Mount Coronet. Yeah, we totally went up there. Oh, I can't actually go back far enough. Uh... Say cheese! Oh, that's not the picture button. The one time I hit the picture button, I... Okay. There, we got him! No, 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 it's not Mount Coronet. I kind of want to see if I can get like an Alpha Eevee. I know they just appear normally in the, uh, the snowy area. Do I have Eevee's Pokedex totally filled out? I do. Well, not completely. 
times you've given it food, we need to go feed some Eevees. Wait, what is Eevee actually like? Uh, the Eevee likes beans. How are we doing on beans? Oh, 66. It likes all, all of these things. If we fill out the Pokedex entry, that means that we'll see shiny Eevees all the time. So I wonder how fast I can fill that out, actually. The rest of Eevee's Pokedex entry. Might be able to catch a shiny Eevee before the stream's up. Do a little shiny hunting. I'm pretty sure they always appear like off to the side over on this sort of bank. They always seem to appear there. Oh, it's all A-Palms now. Of course it is. So where would one find Eevees? Those forms look identical. Okay, there's two spots here. So this is the best area to go Eevee hunting. Avalux Legacy, Avalanche Slopes. So here, and then also over here. Hmm. Is that? Someone lost a fight with these A-Palms. Fixed. Yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot of Eevees in this area. Let's go over here. It seems like all the... I was about to say the coolest Pokemon are here, but I'm like... Oh, that's not a pun I want to use. After battling, instead of potions. An excellent question that I don't have the answer to, but I can quickly get an answer to. I wish they would put like the map and everything as just like extra tabs in this menu. That always ends up tripping me up. Oh, I don't have any of you with me. Uh, as soon as I get somewhere where I can try that, I'm going to try that. But right now, uh, this person's trying to sneak up on us. Little did they know, the hunter's about to become the hunted. She has no idea what's in store for her. One Pokemon. No, so it's just a kid. I'm gonna totally, absolutely destroy him. She's got Obama Snow. A formidable opponent. But, uh... I don't know. Well, 
You, you fought hard, Obama Snow. But just barely managed to scratch out a victory there. And they vanished. Four nougats. Okay, let's go back to the potential Eevee den. Evolution. Where are the smallish box looking dudes at? Yeah, that, that was a really pleasant surprise for this game. Like, it seems like with most Pokemon games, it's anyone's guess if there's even going to be a post-game. I mean, sometimes they outdo themselves. Obviously, it's hard to top, uh, like, gold and silver and crystals in-game, where they just straight up put the entire first game into the second game as the post-game, pretty much. Uh... Which, I don't know why people keep expecting them to do that again. That was basically them showing off, like, the capacity of the Game Boy Color cartridges. Like, they're probably not going to do that again. But, then there's other games where it's just like, okay, maybe you get, like, like, Battle Tower or something like that. And it's just like, okay, that's okay. But, it's also like, you know, not too crazy. And there's some games where there just isn't like an in-game, it seems like, or post-game. And another thing that I really don't like about like the mainline games is that they'll usually put the coolest items that you can get like in the battle tower shop. So you don't get access to them until literally after you beat the game. Like ability capsules and like nature mints and stuff. They should give you access to those, like, halfway through the game, maybe? Like, obviously, don't give them to you right, like, first thing, but... It basically makes it so that you can only use them against other players, and you can't actually use them against the trainers in the actual game itself, because you've already beaten them all. Uh, let's try another couple places. This Eevee can be a lot of different areas. Obviously, there's no uh, ability capsules in this game, because there's, there's no abilities in this game. Okay, this is an Eevee. Gudra just kind of hang out in there for a while. Does that mean technically Gudra is our highest level Pokemon now? Because that's fine. I mean, they're shiny. Can I feed you? Eat the brands. Over this way. Oh. I, I guess they're not hungry. Then I can't use these directly. What about berries? I don't have any effect. Right, because they need to take damage first. Uh, well. 
let's try Obsidian Field Dance, because I definitely saw Eevees and Pikachus like near the start here. Maybe use the Eevee for a fight so it takes a little bit of damage, and we'll see if that counts. Drifloon, perfect. Go get them. Go get them. Nightmare Fuel Balloons. I'll use something that doesn't do damage. Strong style baby doll ice. Jumbo shrimp. Okay, obviously I don't know about them being in battle, but... Oh yeah, use Mimic here. Oh, it takes two turns to use Mimic. That's fair. I know I was expecting it to go in the same turn. Okay, so Eevee's missing a little bit of health now. Yeah, you gotta have him work up an appetite first. Okay, I don't think that counts. Yeah, that doesn't count. That was a good good idea, though. We just gotta find some wild Eevees. And you... The thing is, you see Eevee all the time in the time rifts, but they're always, like, hostile instead of their normal behavior, so... Unless you're extremely careful about it, you, you probably aren't going to be able to do that, that reliably in a, in a time rift with the EVs. Um, let's see. Horseshoe Plains. That's this area, right? Oh yeah, over here. This vague area. Um, they're pretty rare in the in the wild, it seems. They usually appear during the day, though. I think. I've seen them from like outbreaks, but yeah, they're they're pretty rare to just stumble across. Maybe they're more of a morning type Pokemon. I don't know, I guess some Eevees must like nighttime or we wouldn't have any Umbreons. Canonically. I could have swore it was over here. There's like one patch of grass. Like near the very beginning. Somewhere. Oh. Oh, that's the Shinx. What? Um. Well. It was pointing me towards the uh, horseshoe plane, so let's go uh, over there. I wonder how big the. Oh, <laughs> there's an angry wormhole over there. Gonna be an extra big butterfly one day. 
I wonder how big the uh, Gen 9 games are going to be. If they're going to be like similar map size to Pokemon Legends Arceus. I mean, we, we basically can confirm that it's the same engine, more or less. Which means I imagine a lot of mechanics from this game are going to carry over to Gen 9. I'm hoping that they kind of go in halfway in between this game and a traditional Pokemon game. I think that would be pretty ideal. I don't know if there's any... Oh. Is that? Something's in there. Stealth spray. That sounded Eevee-like. Oh no, it's a bird. You disappoint me, bird. There's an Eevee. Reapply Stealth Spray. Ignore the mysterious cloud that has just appeared in front of you. Pay no attention to that. Only pay attention to the beans. No, you want them. Can you feed the same Eevee multiple times? Here, yeah, I have some grains too. Did that count? Oh. It doesn't look like it counted. So I guess you can only feed an Eevee once. What about the mushroom? Near um, airdrop. Oh no, he's running. Get back here. After all I've done for you. They're gone. Must have been taking some teleportation lessons from Abra. It did count. Oh no. I could have just sat there and like farmed it. Number of caught without being spotted. I still need nine more without them seeing me. But if I can just do that and then evolve another five of them, which we've got no shortage. We could fill that out pretty pretty quickly, I think. Well, we know about where they appear, though. So, mayhaps... Does the horse become hostile? I come in peace, horse. Okay, they just run. I know Bidoof never attacks you. Oh. I kind of hope that they make more Legends games. 
but they like set them in other regions in the past. Like I would really like to see a Legends game that takes place in like the Hoenn region in the past. It is kind of weird how they named uh, the Sinnoh region the Hisui region in this game. I mean, I know they say the past is a different country, but they, they kind of took that literally. So I guess that means that if they were going to continue, they'd probably have to uh, name the other regions something else as well. I don't know, maybe they could just like retcon the whole Hisui thing and be like, oh, that's just that's just Sinnoh specific. Uh, all the other regions... Wait, actually they established in this game that all the other regions still have their normal names. Because there's straight up people in this game that talk about being from the Johto region, being from the Gala region. Like, they're just straight up calling them by their actual names. So they've already set it up so Sinnoh's the only one with a weird name. So that's interesting. That'd be really trippy though if they put like Blaziken in the game, but they gave it a different type besides firefighting. Because they're like the original firefighting. What would they do? If they, if they changed it from being fire type, they couldn't very well call it Blaziken anymore. So I guess they would have to be fire or something else. Kind of like Typhlosion in this game, being fire ghost type. Yeah, these EVs are rare. I don't know if we're going to find the rest of them in time. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the PS5 hooked up. I'm probably going to start Elden Ring in my next stream. I am kind of using like a converted like closet to record in. So, <laughs> hopefully... My PS5 doesn't absolutely roast me. Because <laughs> it's it's basically summer already here in Florida. Oh. Bird and... Other bird? Yeah, other bird. That's going to be so funny because I've never played like a, a, like a regular PlayStation game before. So I'm going to kind of hit the ground running. But it's it's by going through like challenging games that you get way better at it. The stronger the challenges you get over, the more uh, experience points you get. IRL. No guarantees I get through that game though. There's a there's a pretty fair chance I rage quit that. But yeah, that's kind of funny to follow up this game with that. It seems like everybody's doing open world stuff these days. Like especially Nintendo. Like we just straight up got an open world Kirby game that's out there now. That seems to be doing really well. I mean, I'm sure part of that's just because it just came out. That's probably going to be like the best game in the in the franchise. Um.
I don't know. There's part of me that feels like this game partially exists because people were like... People were waiting forever for the Diamond and Pearl remakes. Like, they really, uh, made that a big thing. So I guess it makes sense that they chose the Sinnoh region to be, like, the special region that got its own time travel spin-off game. I know it was, like, the last Pokemon game I played before... Uh, I, I kind of left Pokemon for a while. I missed Gen 5, 6, and 7. And then I came back for 8, because obviously, like, big Pokemon game on the, on the, you know, on a big TV console instead of a handheld for once. Of course I had to go back for that. Then we got the Diamond and Pearl remakes. And then we got this game. And now I'm back into it, and I... I'm really looking forward to Gen 9. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be finding uh, enough Eevees here. That's going to be a little bit time consuming. Catch a big old giant wormhole. Still, definitely, in my opinion, one of the best Pokemon games out there. Uh, not a whole lot left to do in the game at this point. I guess maybe I'll just go ahead and wrap the stream up. Instead of just, like, making up stuff to do. But yeah, like, I'm really glad I could play this on stream. Uh, it's been an amazing game. Love what they've done with this. Uh, the, the fun twist this was on Pokemon. Love to see a Game Freak do this again. Especially the stuff with the starters. Look what they did to him. Kind of expands on like the mythology of like Arceus too. I'm sure this game must be huge for like Pokemon lore region for like Pokemon lore reasons. But yeah, I guess I'm glad uh, I could play this for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. Uh, I think I'm going to go now. Uh, we'll be starting something new on Wednesday. Uh, let's see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, hope, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'll be back Wednesday at the same time, 9 uh, Eastern. And hope you have a great evening. See you in the next one.